I'm Dr. Divya Madan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm currently pursuing my residency in pediatric medicine from SMS Medical College Jaipur. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a really important issue, uh, anxiety. Anxiety is something that all of us must have experienced some point of time in our lives, in difficult situations, during exams, or before exams, and especially at a time uh, when you are preparing for some competitive exam because uh, the pressure to crack it and the expectations of your loved ones everything just uh, makes you in the spot and you feel very anxious uh, this can be uh, a normal good anxiety healthy anxiety that uh, forces you or makes you work better or it can be on the other hand a very debilitating uh, illness that can make you just uh, do nothing right it can be counterproductive also sometimes it can be uh, bad to such an extent that uh, it needs medical attention having uh, uh, anxiety disorder myself i have uh, got a lot of number of requests in my dms that uh, tell me about something how you came that phase and uh, what all things that you did uh, to make things better so without further ado let's get started with this video so i think the first point uh, while uh, this journey of overcoming the anxiety i need to mention is overcoming anxiety is not a one night process or one day process it needs time it needs patience it needs efforts from your side and it needs you to uh, be open to various strategies because one thing uh, might work for one person uh, and won't work for the other so having an open mind and being willing to take that effort to overcome that acknowledging that problem and looking for solutions the second thing would be identifying triggers most of the time there is some sort of trigger behind that uh, anxiety feeling that you are having pay attention to all the situations or the thoughts that tend to trigger your anxiety and by recognizing these triggers you can develop strategies to cope with them right so identifying triggers would be a center of uh, how you need to manage Second thing here i want to mention is try deep breathing techniques and exercises you can find them on youtube anywhere uh, just write uh, your deep breathing or muscle relaxation and give it five or ten minutes just having a time uh, just five minutes time spending just five minutes time in your day is enough so don't grip that i don't have time to meditate or work on myself it's like uh, a very favorite quote of mine that it's like uh, you cannot uh, just keep driving and you say that you are so busy driving that you don't have time to ref refuel right you need to stop for some point of time and five minutes is not that big a time right so just take a rest learn about deep breathing techniques it's just five or ten minutes video on youtube you can find it anywhere and just give it a try it works it works really well it worked for me a lot of other people uh, attest the same so try deep breathing exercises and also uh, deep muscle relaxation muscle relaxation techniques that involve stretching and then relaxing so that can help you the thing during my cbt sessions uh, my therapist told me that uh, uh, you challenge your negative thoughts just before going to the place where you think that uh, triggers can be there for me the trigger was the hospital setting which i had to face every day like i'll see deaths or i'll see uh, some people who will comment about me i'll see some of the professors that might comment or some of the unhealthy situation or environment so she told me that uh, you just write all the possible triggers that you feel uh, might trigger your anxiety again and just write in positive outlook on how you will manage that situation right so challenge your negative thoughts when you experience any sort of anxiety it's very natural that your thoughts will become negative or distorted you have to learn to identify these thoughts and challenge their accuracy right and you replace those negative thoughts with more realistic and positive ones then comes the time of exposure gradual exposure 
uh, if you have some specific fear or specific phobias that contribute to your anxiety, then consider gradual exposure to those situations or objects. And uh, make sure that these exposures are in a controlled and safe manner. And uh, this is something that is known as uh, systematic desensitization. And that this can definitely reduce anxiety over time. For me, uh, I knew that I had to go to a same situation, right? And uh, I know that it doubles or triples because I don't have a family hair or I don't have uh, mental support hair or I don't open up much. So uh, for that, I ensured that when I came back from my psychiatry ward uh, 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 admission stay, I ensured that some of my family member is here with me for a, some period of time so that I at least have someone to vent out or someone to seek out physically with me when such things are happening. Also, uh, I was very prone to throw panic attacks. So at that time also, I thought that someone to take care of me for some point of time would be good. And I was not ashamed of that fact that I need someone. You need someone, you go out and seek help. The important point while all this is uh, having some sort of physical exercise in your daily routine. It can be a walk, it can be just dancing to your favorite tunes, it can be a brief yoga session or it can be just simple stretching, right? So have some sort of movement, some sort of physical exercise in your daily routine. Also maintain healthy eating habits. Make sure that the food you're consuming is cooked properly, has a a balanced uh, proportions of all the fats, carbs, fiber, vitamins. Add supplements if you feel like you are deficient in some. For me, I think because you don't go, go outside, vitamin D is deficient in all of us. Have uh, your vitamin D uh, capsules or tablets once a week. Also having B12 if you are a vegetarian. So maintaining a healthy lifestyle, having physical activity and a balanced meal. Try to cook your own meals, small portion of meal so that uh, you don't have to depend on uh, outside food, takeaway food, right? Apart from this, if you are feeling really overwhelmed, do consult a, a professional uh, because nothing, no coach can replace the actual mental illness if it is there. So there's no harm to consult a health professional, mental health professional and go with the CBT or the medications if required. That's it from my side. I hope uh, this helped uh, some of you in your processing of the thoughts and even if uh, you feel like uh, the anxiety is overwhelming don't 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 hesitate to reach out to your loved ones seek help go to medical health professionals they are uh, very welcoming and no one is there to judge you uh, that's it from my side bye bye see you next time